G'day folks, easy here again. Been a while since I've done a video, but here I've made this spaghetti sauce and I've got this lot here left over, right, from a meal that we've had. And there's the pasta, I like the tube one. This here, you can, uh, you know, basically what I've done here, I've got mince and onions, grated carrot, zucchini, and I've got, um, I've got, uh, um, mushrooms in there and I've got some balsamic vinegar a little bit of sugar in there um, like a, uh, a spoon of uh, beef stock in there um, a can of tomatoes a jar of um, pasta sauce and a can of um, uh, tomato uh, soup condensed tomato soup and that's all in there all right, so that made my, you know, but, you know, spaghetti sauce is like uh, one of those things. Uh, everyone's got their own preference. Make your spaghetti sauce however you like. And anyway, uh, it is a killer beef mince in there as well, right, of course. But anyway, what I say is i got a lot of leftover, right? And I made that on purpose. That's why I use a killer beef mince, because what I can do with this now uh, you you can eat pasta for a couple of days and it's fine, but then eventually, you know, you're going to get sick of that same taste and that, you know. So what you can do here is you can halve it and you can make um, a curry with part of it and a chilli with the other part, all right? So with a curry, you just use a couple of spoons or one spoon, depending on how much you got, to your taste, I'll just say that. Add Keen's curry powder. And then if you wanted to sweeten it a bit more, you could add um, some uh, currants or sultanas. So there you go. And that'll, that'll absorb the sauce and all that, and they'll blow back up into like little uh, grapes, sultana grapes, you know. And that's really good. Now, uh, with the chilli, obviously, you can add some cane pepper, powder, like uh, one i got here in the jar, I won't bother with brands, alright, so um, you can add some chilli flakes, you can add some chopped up fresh chilli, anyway make the chilli however you like, so you're using the same sauce, the beginning, this is why I say, when you make a spaghetti bolognese, always start with a bolognese, it's hard to go from a curry back to a pasta sauce, you know, you can't really do that. And it's hard to go from a chilli to a, um, a pasta sauce, but you could go from a chilli to a curry, you know, you could cross a couple of nations there, like the, uh, you know, an Indian style curry with chilli, whatever, you know. So anyway, you could actually do that. But um, any way you like, up to you. Now what you do, when you made all these sauces, what you can also do is you get yourself a Lebanese bread, pita bread, whatever you want to call it, and you uh, put it down like a sauce, you know. And if you want to still use your basic pizza tomato sauce underneath that on the base and then load it with uh, the mince and then put your um, uh, cheese and that on top, then that's fine too. Here's another one I've got in the oven, you know, like. So there you go, folks. Just how you can stretch out. This is about how you can stretch out a pizza sauce, all right? Okay, see you later.